In the pursuit of knowledge, we often overlook the undeniable reality that not all individuals are equal in academic ability. Some don't even have equal access to educational opportunities. Many struggle with school and learning how to study. Kiyotaka Ayano Koji, the main protagonist of the light novel, anime, and manga series, Classroom of the Elite, is quite an exception when it comes to academic struggle. I am a first-year high schooler, 16 years old. However, my knowledge far exceeds the amount learnt in a lifetime. I realized it, was made to realize it, that humans have an endless amount of curiosity. I will teach you the key to academics. This is very subjective, and as we all differ in abilities and preferences, you will need to experiment with different methods to test which works best for you. So without further ado, this is the art of 100%. First things first, mental repairs. You are weak, you procrastinate, have a low attention span, and a lack of true interest. You need to either remove or strongly limit your distractions. Short-form content is both killing time that could be used to study, but also is rotting your brain and attention span. Academic perfection requires concentration. You will also need few distractions. If you'd like to study at home or in your room, limit what can distract you. An excessive amount of posters, electronics, or any form of distractions must go. Turn your phone fully off and keep it in a separate room. Music is only okay if very quiet and no lyrics. I recommend classical music or lo-fi. Anything too intense or anything too calming will make you lose concentration. You also will need a goal. Your goal needs to be specific, challenging, but also still attainable. Something like, I want to have academic intelligence like Ayanokoji, is way too broad. Think. What subjects? How will you do it? At what stage will you reach mastery? Next up, lectures. Even if you are only in high school, you likely will have some sort of lectures by your teachers, where they explain the content for you to learn. Do not waste your time taking notes during lectures or while reading any course contents. Save that until afterwards. The problem with note-taking in class is you are too focused on whatever it is you're writing that you are unable to truly understand or pay attention to what your teacher is saying. Take the time during lectures to genuinely understand what your teacher is saying. Only afterwards should you write notes. When you write them afterwards, you train your long-term memory to recall facts from the lecture. So when the lecture is over, go home and write a sheet of notes of everything discussed in the lecture. Then if you are smart, you would have used the Voice Memos app on your phone to record the entire lecture and use that to write an actual full sheet of notes. This way, you're learning and pushing it into your long-term memory, but with a recording of the lecture, you're also able to make sure you don't miss anything. After the notes are complete, review them every day. You need to fight the struggle of memorization by drilling it into your mind every single day. Secondly, be smart about your studies. It is better to study in a smart manner than an intensive manner. Use the Pomodoro Technique. Essentially, it is a time management system using 25-minute periods of work followed by 5-minute breaks. Then a 15-30 minute break after around four consecutive work intervals. This technique focuses on breaking down large tasks into smaller and more manageable ones. Ultimately, it allows you to focus better and spread out your productivity levels throughout the day. At nighttime, under no circumstances should you stay awake on TikTok or video games. You need at least eight hours of deep sleep. Sleep is extremely important in the memorization process as you will lose a lot of information from a lack of sleep. Sleep is what allows processed information to make its way to the long-term memory. Remember to truly learn the content, start from the basics, and work your way up. As said by Ayano Koji, without the fundamentals, one would be too focused on memorizing to get results. Lastly, I would like to teach you all something huge, the key to learning. This should give you a sort of inspiration and guidance in studying. Here it is. When you're learning something new, you are essentially having two core experiences. Either you're getting something new or you're stumped 
and don't understand what you're looking at. It sounds overly simple, but much of your learning comes down to these two states. As you move through a course of any kind, keep in mind these two key points and don't get distracted by the format the course is delivered in. For example, your goal is never to watch three videos, but to actually extract the big idea from each of those videos, understand them, and process them in a way that makes sense for your unique goals. So, as you learn, whenever an idea clicks with you and you have a moment of insight and understanding, write it down. Try as hard as you can to put things in your own words. Try to capture why something has suddenly made sense to you and what it was that helped you achieve this insight. At the same time, introduce this new piece of information to all your pre-existing knowledge. Connect it to what you know. See what it implies for your goals. These aha. Moments may or may not coincide with what the course curriculum is telling you is significant, however. The other thing is to note when the opposite happens. When you're completely confused and uncomprehending, note this down, too. This part is more important. The way you deal with this point of confusion is crucial for how much you ultimately learn. Write down questions that you don't have answers to. As best you can, try to identify what you're missing or what doesn't come together for you. Try to find exactly the point at which you lose the thread. Mark it down. You can return to this later when you have figured out the answer. Sometimes you just need to be patient and all will be revealed. Or when you need to ask for help or guidance. The great thing about keeping an inventory of snags and issues is that they can act as a baseline, allowing you to see how much you've learned over time. It can be very encouraging to look at tricky questions you had two weeks ago and know that you can confidently resolve them today. That is all for today's video. Make sure you truly understand the contents provided today as the past eight minutes would have been a waste of your time. If you'd like more information, you may join the Discord server. The link is in the description. I hope to see you all there. I will try to continue putting out some videos on this channel. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you.